Welcome to Reefing for Dummies. In this video, we're going to be talking about different types of water flow in the aquarium. In this video, we're going to be talking about water flow. Could it possibly be more important than lighting in the aquarium? Everybody likes to brag about their lighting. Hey man, come check out my lighting. Just check out this new lighting I got. But could water flow possibly be more important than your lighting? Hey man, come check out this new flow I got in my aquarium. It's awesome, man. I mean, after all, we've all heard the stories of people throwing corals in their sump and having them thrive without them doing anything. It's rarely the case that we see any corals thrive without flow. So let's talk about benefits of good water flow. Good water flow will allow waste to be carried away from corals, such as detritus. It's also going to help with faster coral growth, increase filtration as water passes through dry rock. It affects the formation of new coral colonies. It affects the growth of problematic algae, and it also increases the overall health of your fish. So what's the difference between water flow and water movement in the aquarium? Movement is the back and forth surge-like movement in the water that is created when a wave passes over the coral reef. Best to use when using typical conditions found at depths in the ocean of less than 40 feet. Corals will have waves passing over them all the time. Water flow in the ocean is the cause and effect of two waves or currents colliding with each other creating random movement in the ocean and also creating lots of swirl like motions. So let's talk a little bit about the most common types of water flow in the aquarium. The first one that we commonly see in the aquarium is laminar flow. This is that straight across flow that you would get if you've ever used a maxi jet. And this is one of the most unpopular flows to use in the aquarium. The two that most hobbyists use is surge. This is going to be that pulsing water flow that you would get towards the top of the water, such as like waves passing over the coral reef going in and out. Uh, this is a very useful one, especially those SBS corals at the top. Uh, the second type is going to be turbulence. And now this is the most random water flow and the most desired in home aquariums, as this is usually created by two waves colliding with each other. Now, what I have found to be the most desired water flow in home aquariums is the use of turbulence and pulse together in one. And now this can all be desired with a wave maker with four pumps. Seems to be the best setup for any home aquariums. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. If you have any other uh, ideas about any videos, go ahead and leave those in the comments down below. And I'll be sure to go ahead and take a look at those and see if I can make any videos from them. Um, anyways, until next time, keep on reefing.